The state fire marshal's office has been giving everything a once-over, making sure things like the propane gas connections are safe and sound and fire extinguishers are in place. The state health department has sent teams from vendor to vendor checking for how clean the workstations are and how food is being stored. The decals of the windows are signs that they have been checked out. Make sure we got all the food here, all the uh, stuff for the health department here, uh, the cleaning products, make sure everything's working. Um, just pretty much make sure we have it all ready because once we're here tomorrow, it's time to go. And they know what they have to do to get the all clear to serve food. It is standard operating procedure for vendors who travel from event to event. Well, like anywhere with any food service, you know, you want to make sure the food is up to standards and that always is here at the fair. A mile long midway lined with rides and attractions. There are multiple teams of inspectors with North American Midway Entertainment going over bolt and screw connections, making sure there are no signs of things like metal fatigue. According to general manager Pat Rep, everything is checked out daily. They've been inspected before the customer ever gets on daily because just because that ride's safe on Saturday, we might run thousands of people. Doesn't mean it's ready to go on Sunday. So it'll get re-inspected every day before we open. And operators say that inspection process really is nonstop. The North American Midway Entertainment Company says they have hired a third party team of investigators and their job is to go back over each and every ride attraction each day before these gates open each day at the fair. At the fairgrounds, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.